Oh my gosh, look at all the leaves. Uh, hey, my friends at Columbus Elementary School, Sean MP, look at all these beautiful leaves they put up for me. So cute. Maybe we can work on this. Oh, I'm actually not the lunch coach tomorrow at the school that I work at. I work at a boutique private school. It's one-on-one -on -one direct instruction. Um, it's actually a teaching clinic. Very cutting edge, which is how I like it. Um, yeah, I guess I came on here to say that um, if you know the script, let me not keep my hands up here. If you know the script, Six Degrees of Separation, that's my life, my friends. Okay, because I worked at Interview Magazine, as I keep trying to say to people, because I worked there from 2000 to 2002, where I saw the Twin Towers fall from that said dangling, or is that a hanging preposition at the end? Technically, in the English grammar, one doesn't want to dangle, but, oh, I like the sunglasses on my cat. Um, academy, yeah, I teach at an academy. Yeah, LBA. The letters of three of my all-time favorite people. Lauren Houston, say her name. B. Paul, say their name. And Arthur Paul Sanchez, say his name only. He likes to sashay and wear a skirt. He taught me that one, motherfucker. Right? I mean, there is no such thing as gender. It's such a modern concept. You know what I mean? Like... God, and here's the real tea, right? Six degrees of separation. I met Arthur <laughs> online on Scruff, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure it was a setup because for the last six plus years of my life, ever since I met him online on Scruff, my life has been just a movie <laughs> and I know from movies my friend I wrote about The Godfather part two actually I didn't write about The Godfather part two I was going to write about The Godfather part two and the revision to my dissertation that was going to be the book project for Duke University which Duke University has now indicated they want but I gotta be back in the academy to do it, my friends. I can't be out here acting, so I'm gonna have to split the coin, right? It's already split, right? Two sides of the same coin, but you know, you just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and you keep finding new shades of gray, right? I mean, that's life, people. That's tennis, right? And as I said, it's a crying shame, right? You can only vote for Kamala Harris if you only know about the United States situation and you don't understand the history. Yes! Nice work, my friend. You look great. Look at the red and green on the scooters. I'm not going to film him. He's a child. Oh, so cute. Uh, adorable. Um, I'm not going to film in their children. I'm just filming myself. But um, those kids are adorbs. Um, you can only buy what Kamala is selling. It's a quote from fucking Chris Saliza's blog of all things on Substack just now. Thank you, Taylor Lorenz. Or Lauren, they're not hundred pounds for last night, but I'm gonna look it up, girl. Um, there's a big fraud being perpetrated, or that's being tried to be put over on the American public right now with Kamala. Right, she has no platform.
Thank you also, Nate Silver. She has no platform. And that grinning picture of her and Tim Waltz and the campaign site. I'm sorry, but even if I lived in a state where my vote mattered because I opted out of Pennsylvania, right? Which is a shit show of a state. Um, remember the Democrats are just as corrupt as the Republicans, there's no daylight between them. That's the point I'm trying to make. There's no daylight between the Clintons and the Bushes. And apparently the Obamas and the Harris Waltzes Biden, right? They're all neocons who have been trying to fruitlessly secure an American future when there is no American future in a world that is rapidly falling to pieces because of the extinction crisis. And Kamala Harris thinks people are so dumb in this country that they believe her when she says she's for a Green New Deal and she's for more drilling and for fracking. What? You know what I mean? And unfortunately, she's just not up for it, right? Tonight's the last night of labor season in the Pacific coast of the Union States of Israel, right? It's American empire, people. This is what I got my PhD in. I helped take down American empire. There was no vibe correction from 2020, okay? What the young people I work with want more than anything else is clarity. In fact, they need it to grow as people. So when Kamala says she fights for the people, why isn't she giving the people what they need, which is the facts, which are the facts, excuse me. I do have a PhD in English, right? But I know how to code switch. I'm as comfortable on the street. You see me out here as I am in the fucking C-suite, yo. I did crystal meth and I bounced back better. I don't do drugs anymore, except for the ones prescribed to me because we live in a world, right? That is what ableist, right? Oh my gosh, if there was, resources for me when I was a child growing up in the 80s being bullied. Thank you, Kanye West, which is how I know him. I don't even know how to pronounce ye. Is it ye or ye? Was it Kanye or Kanye? The point is, is you got to keep changing people. Keep up. You know? Why can't Kamala just tell us what she's been up to the past couple of years and what she wants to do if she gets the vote. We already know what Trump's done. And far from the caricature, I mean, what would, what would Bruce Wayne say? I was reading a comic book excerpt to a young, brilliant student of mine who happens to be neurodivergent, which means he's smart as fuck. Right? And I get a chance to support him in the ways that I was not supported. Right? Because I also was neurodivergent. I was too smart for my own good. AKA, I was smart as fuck. Right? Which is why I refuse, refuse to participate in this electoral fraud. Why on earth? Would Trump be more powerful in his second term than in his first term and he's now a convicted felon who would be in jail or prison or some other situation where he not vying for president right now, right? Make no mistake, what's happened is that the neocons that are still around in the Clinton wing and the Cheney wing and the Bush wing and all the wings 
of the Democratic Republican consensus third way, the triangulation that's starving Palestinians literally and figuratively right now. That's starving so many people in this country, except for those of us who figured out a way to get by, right? To live with the contradictions that mount by the day, right? This last day of Libra season is what I'm trying to say. Librans fight for justice. They fight for balance. There is no balance in Israel-Palestine. So that makes Kamala not a Libra. She doesn't give a fuck about justice. She give a fuck about justice. She'd be putting forth a program to get marijuana legalization in this country with reparations. People who served jail or prison time or worse, lost their lives, lost their livelihoods, lost their homes. In the war on drugs, the war on poverty, right? The war in the black family is what it was, right? That's the legacy, one of them, one of the many afterlives of slavery, right? Slavery, chattel slavery was fascist. Right? What do you think the Nazis fucking modeled their experiments or system on, right? Where do you think they got the notion, right? Cast, with all due respect to so-and-so and so-and-so, who I stopped paying attention to after that ridiculous movie, may have been operative up until chattel slavery, but chattel slavery transformed this world. It made the world modern. It made the world global. Right? Here's a tip, my friends. Don't eat sugar. Refined sugar. It's bad for you. <laughs> Nobody's seen Carol Walker's work. <laughs> I, mean, I like to joke that, you know, I'm wakeful in a country of the walking dead. But I also am a Kara Walker stan, yo. I mean, white people were kinky as fuck with the people they enslaved, right? Why do you think we got this con man Trump, right? who's starting to take control of this race because Kamala and Timoth ain't good enough. I mean, this is a New Yorker we're talking about versus who, a Montrealer? No offense, Montreal. <laughs> I mean, Barack Obama had it all, including Michelle. Right. Thank God for Michelle and those kids. Although she was a hospital administrator, University of Chicago, kind of like being a progressive prosecutor. <laughs> Let me quit while I'm ahead. Okay, I meant to go out just for a quick smoke and then go back and finish writing a piece for Substock. I'll post this and see if I catch up to it. I don't actually like writing like this anymore because the only thing I'm trying to write is my book and my plays in which I don't have to think at this level. I can work much more intuitively. But if I'm writing for Substack, right, I'm also cognizant of my audience and unlike Kamala Harris, who is not at all proving to be a very good role model for young people, right? By, you know, not sticking to a position, by changing her mind, right? By, um, for some reason, continuing to work with um, Biden's team. I mean, I get it was the last minute, but this is, again, partially on Obama because I thought when Axelrod was pushing her, uh, pushing her into the race over Biden, I thought Axelrod was actually going to get on board. But, you know... They spent, like, 
1.5 billion dollars or some shit on ads and they just got her even and as Nate Silver keeps pointing out here, he's absolutely right, as we've seen, right? I mean, for those of us who are Generation X, right? The last portion of Generation X, and Nate and I match in this way, you know? And by the way, he's one of the people, one of the dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of people, the countless dozens of people I have emailed over the years or reached out to in one form or another because I wanted to talk to them for one reason or another, right? Back to six degrees of separation, my friends. Right? Improv and stand-up comedy are my life and my livelihood now. I filter everything through them. Both slash and I mean why is the choice between Stevie Wonder on the one hand and Guns N' Roses on the other that shouldn't be a choice it's not a choice in my world both slash and motherfuckers and if you don't get those references then you're just not up to my level and that's fine I, I could choose to articulate myself in a different way, only this is how I hear myself most deeply. Also how I see myself most deeply. I'm unblind, my friends. As I said, I'm very wakeful. I was never woke. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've always been wait for a I'm cicada life, my friends. I've always been wakeful. Thank you, Technohan. American Empire was defeated in Vietnam. It was defeated in Afghanistan the first time. It was defeated in the Middle East over and over and over again. It was defeated in 9-11. And the special relationship between Israel and the Union States of America, what I call the Union States of Israel for simplification. It's the simple things in life that matter. People keep it basic. Me, I just follow one rule. It's golden. <gasps> well, the end of apartheid South Africa, which the United States backed until they were the last country in the world to back them. Sound familiar? They're becoming rapidly one of the last countries in the world to back Israel. It was a bloody end too. Believe me, I know I studied it. I was in the archives, people. I read the interviews. You see, what I tried to say when I came on here is that I worked at Interview Magazine. That's where I met Madonna and Bjork and Iman. <laughs> I was on the Tyra Banks show on CNN. I had to get up out of my chair so Anderson Cooper could sit down in it and get made up for his show when I was getting made up for my cameo appearance on Paul is on now. And I used to harass his boyfriend and maybe baby daddy Sebastian at the bar he used to work at. Was it Eastern Block? Oh, look. The circles. Six degrees of separation, everybody. I know everybody. And everybody knows me. I've got nothing to hide. And that's gestalt therapy, baby. Express yourself. Human beings were made to create. And I was given. A wicked 
wicked mouth. I've got another quotes are coming. Thanks, Mom. A wicked, wicked, wicked mouth to create love. Makes it hard for me to wield my pen. But, uh, you know, Paso. Not Paso, my thumbs. Let me sort of swing. Let me get erect. <laughs> Paso, a paso, my friend. Every day, I shine a little brighter. How about you? I was gonna say, how about you, but... I can't see you. I'm just looking slightly off the frame. Rather edit, cut, and just looking slightly out <laughs> of the frame. Or am I in it? 